Hello, my name is Charlotte Kelly and I'm second in English at the Castle School with responsibility for Key Stage 3. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to be telling you a bit about the Year 7 English curriculum. But before I get on to that, I wanted to share with you who we are and why we do what we do. In English, we have four key aims. First and foremost, we want our Year 7 students to develop a love of English, to enjoy reading, writing, understanding, interpreting and discussing a variety of different texts. Further to this, we're committed to our students experiencing a wide variety of texts from different people and places throughout history, which we firmly believe is of the utmost importance, especially today. Third, we want to help our students build skills for life, specifically the abilities to empathise and question, helping them access, understand and analyse a whole range of different text types, preparing them not just for GCSE in Year 11, but their life beyond the Castle School too. Finally, our aim is to help students become confident orators, readers and writers, able to communicate effectively throughout their lives. In each year at Castle, students' English studies will revolve around five big themes in English, non-fiction, literature, oracy, grammar and vocabulary, and creativity with language. In the next few slides, I'll tell you how we teach each of these through our fantastic schemes of learning. We begin Year 7 with a fantastic novel, The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, which we believe is the best way to introduce students to English and begin to create that love of literature. Essentially The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling in a different setting, The Graveyard Book is a coming of age story in which the protagonist goes on various adventures, making friends and learning a lot about himself and the wider world along the way. One of the reasons we teach this novel to Year 7 is because for the majority of the narrative, Bod, the protagonist, is their peer, and so we believe students can empathise with his experiences. The novel explores the nature of good and evil and creates opportunity for discussion of what it means to be human. Another reason we think the text is so useful to teach our younger students is because it effectively blends folklore and legends with the gothic and mystery genres, and these are revisited further up the school. On screen now, you'll be able to see a variety of student work produced by students in English and for homework over the last couple of years while studying the Graveyard Book. Throughout this scheme of work, students begin to develop skills in non-fiction transactional writing, as well as their understanding of genre, character types and how writers use language effectively in their texts. In the second term, we move on to our Introduction to Shakespeare unit, which aims to introduce students to Shakespeare and his life and times. We find out all about life in the Elizabethan and Jacobean periods and study the Globe Theatre as well as finding out about the Bard himself. Onto this contextual backdrop, we then teach students a whole variety of extracts from Shakespeare plays to build students' confidence with his language and to build the enjoyment of studying his work. We focus on the theme of villainy, studying several villains from Shakespeare's plays including Lady Macbeth, The Witches, Claudius, Shylock, Richard III, Caliban, Prospero and Iago. In this scheme, we continue to develop students' skills in reading and analysis, while giving space for students to explore Shakespeare's life, times and works through creative means, as well as through extended pieces of writing. To enthuse students about creative writing, we then move on to our New Worlds topic. Here students will read and watch a variety of extracts about new and exciting worlds different to their own, considering the power of writer's language and considering how their own language when writing can be used for effect. This scheme of learning is really fantastic as it allows students to read literature from all over the world, studying a whole range of voices, including those of Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, Roseanne Brown, Mallory Blackman, J.K. Rowling, Yabba Bado, Jan Martel, Taran Martho, J.R.R. Tolkien, Pooja Puri, Terry Pratchett and China Mayville. Students will analyse these writers' use of language before ultimately designing their own brand new world and writing their own short piece of fiction about it. At the start of the summer term, we move on to our Animal Poetry Unit, a scheme of learning that aims to develop students' love of poetry, to build on their knowledge of the writer's craft and to introduce viewpoints and perspectives about animals and animal welfare. We'll study poems by James Reeves, William Blake, Seamus Heaney, Maya Angelou, Caroline Duffy and Ted Hughes, building students' analytical skills and facilitating them to write their first full essay in English. Again, in addition to this type of writing, we will continue to develop students' empathy and creativity through numerous activities, exploring imagery and poetry and students will also have the chance to write some of their own poems. 
Our final topic for Year 7 is the zoo debate. Here students continue to develop their viewpoints and perspectives on animals and their welfare. Together we'll consider environmentalism and animal cruelty while continuing to consolidate knowledge of how writers use language to persuade people to listen to their views. This unit culminates in students writing their own persuasive speech which they'll perform to their class about whether or not animals should be kept in captivity. This unit helps students to build confidence with oracy, to develop productive and cooperative working relationships with their peers and to explore different people's viewpoints. We're also really pleased to be able to offer our Year 7s the opportunity to participate in the Accelerated Reader programme. Accelerated Reader is a student-driven programme guided by us teachers that helps students to hone their reading skills while enjoying their own reading for pleasure. On arrival in Year 7, students are given a login to the AR website where they can choose books at the most appropriate challenge level for them and take quizzes on the books they have read, earning them house points and tutor group prizes. Also, once a fortnight, students will also partake in philosophy for children. Over the course of Year 7, we use this course to engage students' curiosity in global issues, encouraging them to consider the big questions in a safe and secure environment. We also teach them how to discuss and debate productively, rationally and with open minds. In the English faculty, we offer a wide range of different enrichment opportunities, ranging from the lunchtime clubs displayed on screen to whole day enrichment activities, such as welcoming, visiting theatre companies and performance poets, and going out into our local community and being inspired to write about the world around us. As for homework, in Year 7 students will be set weekly spelling and reading homeworks, as well as homework based on their learning in class. These homeworks could be creative tasks, research or shorter pieces of writing. If you can encourage your child to engage fully with these tasks, we would be incredibly grateful. At Castle, we see reading as the gateway to all knowledge, so taking time to read with your child and to talk about what they're reading will help enormously with building confidence, security and enjoyment. We do not ask you to pre-read any of the texts we're going to teach in class, as this would spoil the twists and turns as we discover new information together. But talking to your children about what they have read after the lesson would be strongly encouraged, as would conversations with your child about what they are reading outside of school. I hope that you found the last few minutes a helpful introduction to what we get up to in Year 7 English at the Castle School. If you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch.